Come on, you're doing amazing. So let me give you guys a quick hotel slash apartment tour quickly. Here's the front door and then you have this big body mirror. I am like in my mall walker fit era right now. This is just like a coat closet. You turn over this way and you have the kitchen and then the living room area. This place comes fully stocked with like silverware and like a Keurig, pots and pans. Initially, I thought I was gonna use that stuff more than I think I actually will because a lot of the stuff that I'm getting is gonna be microwavable. But regardless, having a full-size fridge and freezer is gonna be so, so helpful. Have the microwave, oven, which is not gonna be used. Even a dishwasher, which is pretty cool. And we just have the living room console area. This is the couch living area. Um, I'm actually gonna have the nurse stay out here. This is kind of the whole reason why I booked this place. We're gonna go right into the bathroom. It comes with a full-size shower. I spilled something on the floor earlier, so I needed to use that towel to clean it up. And then right over this way is my bedroom for the week. I personally think it's bad juju if you have a mirror face in your bed, but we have to deal with it this week, so. I just try to ignore that as much as I can. So today is gonna to be an interesting day. I have to learn how to use the public transport here. I already have a card. My friend helped me get it last night. I'm waiting for my groceries to be delivered at 10. I have to go to Whole Foods after that because there was some things at this shop that wasn't available. Um, and Whole Foods didn't offer Instacart here for some reason. Come back here and then I have my pre-op appointment, which I'm gonna take you guys with me to. Forgive me guys, I actually didn't end up bringing my camera to my pre-op appointment. Basically, I just got the professional imagery of the before of my nose, um, so that way we could see what it looks like in the future. And then um, I got my care kit, which came with my salt rinse packs, prescription medications that I had to go get done at the pharmacy, and um, my Vaseline, my scar gel, like all of that kind of stuff. Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear me over the heat that's on, but we're just gonna have to make do with it. But I kind of wanted to go over like why I'm getting a nose job and everything like that. So let me give you the before. Okay, so left side, front, and then right side. As you can tell, like the bump is way more prominent. Um, the bump is pretty prominent, more so on my right side. Um, I also have a slight deviated septum and I just feel like my tip is a little bit too big for my face. It's very bulbous and I just want to shrink it down a little bit. I think a lot of people get confused on like, why do a rhinoplasty or whatever? Truthfully, I still want to look like me. I just want to be new and improved and it's one of those things that like, why am I getting it? Could I go my entire life without getting a rhinoplasty and still be happy with the way I look? Absolutely yes, but I'm just kind of at a place in my life where I can afford to do it, so like, why not is kind of how I'm choosing to look at it. Yeah, so this is the before. I mean, she's cute, but I just feel like she can be improved a little bit. Yeah, I feel super confident about my surgeon, and if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'm open to talking about it. And then maybe I'll do like a Q&A video too. So drop any questions you have. I'm open to talking about it. I'm all about like breaking the stigma of like plastic surgery. I'm not gonna say, oh, I didn't get anything done. Like I'm gonna show you guys I'm getting something done. Good morning, guys. It's the day of surgery today. It's 5.08 a.m. Oh, I went to bed early, but I'm still so, so tired because I woke up in the middle of the night, unable to sleep on a nervousness excitement scale right now. I'm at like 85% excited, 15% nervous. Um, honestly, it just like doesn't, it doesn't like feel real. I am so hoping that I'm not going to be feeling like nauseous because they are taking a, a graft from my head, which makes me a little bit nervous but i trust this man it honestly feels like a fever dream that i'm getting surgery today i can't believe it i'm sure i'll believe it when i come out of surgery but 
for like when I get there, I'm sure it'll like kick in. Okay guys, I had to put everything in a locker, but check me out. Trigger warning, blood. I did it. I just got done with surgery. I got back to home at my hotel. He showed me the aunt table pictures and it looks so good. So, so good. I'm not really that tired. Just like exhausted. I can kind of feel it here. And I have to wait like an hour for my Tylenol. I survived. Right. Um, honestly though, I thought I was gonna look more busted than this. But I look good. What does the side profile look like? That's kinda hard to tell with my hood on. It's just I don't feel the head craft like at all. Cause he did it on this side. But my nose, I feel starting to feel the stitches and I have to wait till um I get my, until noon to take my medication. And I just don't wanna talk. My teeth hurt. This nice done. Feels like I just got kicked in the teeth. I just took two Tylenol. Oh my god. It looked worse than I feel. But I just changed this gauze. It's like 4.19 p.m. Day of. I have this ice pack because I can't go over my eyes. But the bruising is starting. You can see. Fred is gonna come by in like an hour to check in on me. But, um, sorry if I'm talking low. It's like very low effort to talk like this versus like being loud. Can you guys see the graft? Hold on. You guys should be able to see it like a little bit. I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys. Um, really quick check-in before I go to bed. Um, it's the night of the first night. I think I'm doing pretty good. Like, I'm not in any pain. I'm just, like, a little bit congested. Check out the lights outside of my window. Like, this is, like, the perfect thing to fall asleep to. My night nurse is here because she's only here for one night. I figured out, like, the routine for my medications, and I start cleaning... I know it's tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be leaking a lot less tomorrow. tomorrow. Um, but I'm gonna eat a pudding probably so because I have to wake up at midnight for my next set of pills. So I wanna have something in my stomach. And then I'm gonna watch um, Cheaper by the Dozen 2 because I love that movie. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go to right to bed. I'll probably fall asleep during that. Good morning. Day one post-op. Honestly, I'm doing so much better than I thought I was gonna be this morning. It was kind of hard to sleep last night, but I think it was mostly because I was laying in bed all day. So by the time I was going to bed, my back was like, I was not wanting to lay on my back, but um, look at, check this out. Like the bruising has like already gone away like so much. It's already like 8.20. My nurse just left because I had an overnight nurse stay with me and this morning at like 6 a.m. Well, I woke up to take my medicine last night at midnight and then again at 6 a.m. And then at 6, it was my first time to clean this, so she did that for me. I am starting to feel the side of my head now, but it's not like overwhelmingly bad. It's only like when I lay on it kind of, I'm like, ooh, that's like kind of tender. Um, but I'm not in any pain actually. It's more just like discomfort. If you're planning to get a nose job, definitely get like a really good overnight lip mask 
because that has been like saving my life like look like they're feeling nourished like last night i woke up a few times because my mouth was dry but it wasn't like horrible i get my stitches out of my cast off on thursday um, but it's Friday today. I forgot to mention this to you guys, but yesterday my friend who lives in Toronto came over. She's such a sweetheart and she literally brought me so many things. Like, let me just show you what she brought me. She brought me this bouquet of flowers. She got me a lottery scratch-off ticket. She got me some chocolate pudding and some jello. Plant-based um, gummies. And then she also got me um, these little, let me go to the bathroom, hold on. She also, she also got me these really cute eye masks for when um, I'm feeling better. Isn't that like so sweet of her? I just love having such nice girlfriends. They are just like, they make my life feel enriched and so valued. I'm watching School of Rock, by the way, cause I just love, Love the show. To be honest with you, I'm like so bored of just like laying in bed already. The things I would do for that Soy Boys plant-based cheeseburger right now and with fries and a vegan milkshake. Oh, that sounds so, so good. Holy moly. This nasal rinse is really getting to me like my nose feels more congested now than before I started doing the nasal rinse and I don't know if it's because I'm doing it wrong or if it's because like it's just swollen, I don't know, but I can tell that my eyes are starting to get like swollen here so I'm gonna ice it and it's like 6.45 at night so I'm probably gonna go to bed um, at least for a couple hours. Okay, I had to sit in my bedroom and do this because I was just feeling sick to my stomach because I don't, okay, I can't talk really well right now. Okay, but like, check it out. It looks like pretty good. Like my stitches look clean and everything. Uh, but something I don't hear a lot of you talk about is that it's not just blood that drains out. After the blood is done, there's like this clear slash yellowy liquid and it smells. And I asked my doctor about it and he said that it's normal. You just have to keep doing like the saline rinse and stuff. But it's just a disgusting smell and it actually makes me sick to my stomach. Taking that off is like sometimes um, makes me just feel sick for some reason. Okay, time for the rinse. Antibiotic ointment. I just, um, I lather this stuff on because healing ointment is so, so important. Okay, there's that piece. But like, don't I look, like, are I slaying right now? Yeah, you know, okay. You're right. I don't fit in here. I'm I think it's about 2 p.m. now. Girl, the congestion is getting to me a little bit, but honestly, I'm kind of doing good. Good morning, friends. I'm going down to get some breakfast. I want to get um, some muffins. Oh my god, you can really tell about my cheeks now. Oh, Congestion is definitely a lot less, which is good, um, but the swelling is definitely going down, which... I suppose is a good thing. Um, I'm gonna make sure I ice when I get back, but I'm gonna get some food to bring up here. Success, the first time leaving my room and I got a few things. I got a blueberry muffin, chocolate chip, and a croissant. Also, I ran out of one of my medications this morning, um, like the anti-inflammatory, I think it was, which is good because I only have two pills left, which is the antibiotic and um, the Tylenol. I'm just going to go on my phone for a bit. It's 9.30, so I'm going to finish eating my muffin, 
and then chill around for a bit and then ice my face and then I do to take my Tylenol and then um, clean my clean my nose again. The pain level is still actually I'd say the pain level is like a one now. It's definitely like the congestion was really causing me a lot of discomfort, but it really has like moved out of here and more into like here. Um, which I count as a win because this area is just so so sensitive. Um, and now I'm draining and I'm draining a lot less. To that ASMR, hold on, listen. Yes. Oh my goodness. Good morning, friends. It is day four post op. Holy crap, did I have some bad sleep last night? I was just like not feeling it last night, but. You can still see my cheeks are really swollen, but it's dropped from here down to like here now. Here's day four of what my nose looks like. As you can tell, like I don't have much bruising, like very minimal. Um, you can already see from like my before's if I turn to the side, like the hump is gone. But I saw a video that he posted of my before and after on Instagram and oh my god the after looks so good but I'm just gonna say this now the after video does not look like my nose right now especially like the tip like I know that I have a slight nasal tip break in my video as well as like um it's just a little bit smaller and my bridge is defined and like all of that stuff so I know that I'm like trying to mentally prepare that when my cast comes off, it's not gonna look like the video. Like there's still gonna be a lot of swelling. <sighs> yeah, so um, I'm just gonna eat this, maybe watch some Harry Potter and chill out. And then I'm gonna take a shower tonight. Like I need to get out of these clothes. I need to wash my hair. I just, yeah. Um, but quick check in on pain. Uh, I'd say I'm at like a two, yeah, I'd say I'm about a, like a one and a half out of 10 just because I think I overused the hydrogen peroxide on my stitches and like everything. So it's a little bit like dry and like kind of like ugh, uncomfortable, but I'm not in pain. guys i am in such high spirits today i am feeling so so much better today like i'm not feeling as exhausted i was actually able to sleep through the whole night last night i did wake up at i went to bed at like 10 or 11 no like 10 30 or 11 and then i woke up at seven o'clock to take my tylenol and finish off the rest of my antibiotics so that's done i'm just on tylenol now Woohoo! I did get more like leakage last night, so I think I'm just gonna keep wearing the little things at night. Um, but overall, I'm not like in any pain or anything. Here's here's my advice on getting a nose job. Um, I know that it's so so common for people to want nose jobs. I mean, everybody is just so self critical of themselves, but try i would say if you can try to wait until like you're about like 23 maybe even 25 ish area and don't get one right when you're 18 unless it's like a breathing issue or something because i think that sometimes people will get surgery of any kind and think that it's gonna like fix all of their problems and all of their insecurities and the fact of the matter is I mean, it could, but it might not, and you might just get that and then move on to the next thing. And I think just being happy with how you look, regardless if you got surgery or not, I think that's the key to like actually being happy with the surgery and like not going too overboard. I think also confidence is a big thing, and being in your 20s, you just are starting to grow your confidence. And 
when you're confident in how you look like you're not gonna be so critical like i didn't go in with a specific image and be like i want the swooped button nose like i didn't go in with that i literally went in to him and i said this is kind of like the hollywood style that i do like but you want facial harmony over a specific idea of a nose and i think that's really important to keep in mind because just because someone else has a button nose and it looks good doesn't mean it's gonna fit you or look good on you but also think about how it's gonna look in like 10 years from now because your face is gonna change like your body your face is gonna change as you get older and mature and you still want your surgeries to like fit that if you're getting like a nose job a boob job literally whatever you're getting done you just want to make sure that it's for the long haul and not just like right now. Do your research on your surgeon. Don't just go somewhere because they're cheap and they can give you a good nose job. Literally look at their their pictures on Instagram. If they're posting their work, have a few consultations with a few different people and see, does this person just tell me everything I wanna hear? Or are they telling me, no, that won't look good? Or um, are they telling you that they're gonna be able to achieve they're not going to be able to achieve something because for me what i look for in a surgeon is someone that's honest and will give me their opinion my surgeon has done thousands of noses probably and i trust his opinion he knows what's going to look good and i gave him an idea of what i like and so he did something with both of that and i actually really love how my nose turned out because of the video he sent me so i know that in a couple months i'm gonna love it um and I think it's just really important to do your research. So don't just go to some random person just because you know someone that went to them and their nose looks good. Like it has to be the style that you want because each surgeon has a different style that they do. And it's it's really important to do your research and be safe when you're sur choosing a surgeon. Okay, we're out on the prowl. Got my hair out. I'm just wearing this because I'm just running down the street because I need to go to Chipotle. I need something for lunch before my friend gets here after work and we go to dinner. So I'm probably going to get like a very minimal bean and cheese burrito or something. Um, she's looking good. Check her out. is from TNA Aritzia. Trousers are from Aritzia and my Nike 550s. So I met up with my friend for dinner. We ended up going to this really good vegan sushi spot called Planta and their sushi was like really, really good. I got like crispy rice roll we split some dumplings and like some spicy um california rolls and um yeah some spicy tuna rolls and stuff like that they actually made their tuna with watermelon so it was really interesting uh, but it was really really good um and then we also stopped at aritzia because i do not own a single pair of jeans that i like and i went to the other aritzia here and it blowed i did not find anything that i liked but here I actually found a nice pair of jeans. Let me just like show you quick. It is like the perfect pair. They're from, so I was in between this pair and a pair of Levi's. And I'm on like a Levi kick. I don't own any Levi's, but I owned like one pair of Levi shorts a long time ago, but for some reason I just have always like been in love with Levi's, uh, even though they've always been a little bit too short for me. So I was in between those and these uh, but i ended up with these from sunday best and they are just like a straight legged mid wash jean with like bigger bottoms i'll do a try on for you hold on voila here they are this is the top of the jeans they're a little bit tight but they're the girl at Aritzia said they're gonna stretch like half of a size but look how perfectly they fit my bum i literally took the metro for the first time tonight and as soon as I got off on my stop, I literally came up from the subway and my phone would not connect to anything. Like I could not use my maps. I could not use internet. I could not use anything. If you travel solo a lot, you know that that is- 
fucking scary and it's nighttime like it's it's literally dark outside um and i'm alone i had no idea like where the hell i was because it's nighttime i'm like disoriented so i couldn't do anything so thankfully there was this really nice um, group of people that were also looking at directions. I was like, can you please map to my hotel so I could take a picture of it? And so I took a photo of it Literally, thank God I was I got off on the right stop and everything But literally look like I had to just use that to get my way home. But yeah, that was sketchy as fuck. So like good morning beautiful people I am feeling like almost brand new today like my nose is clear um, I'm able to, it's like not as raw, like I'm able to breathe a little bit better. Like I'm trying not to breathe through my nose, but I can like, it's just like a little bit sharp and a little bit cold. I don't know how to describe it. Um, but yeah, things have been going good. I was so tired last night. Tonight, last night was the latest that I stayed up. I stayed up till like midnight and it's 9.30 this morning. I just went down and got some brekkie. I'm at like zero out of 10 for pain and discomfort. Like it, it feels weird because there's stuff on there, but like I wouldn't say that I feel significantly uncomfortable. Here's a look at what she's looking like. It looks like very straight right now, but it's really not that straight. Like it's gonna have like a slight nasal tip break where it's like a little bit. I don't know how to describe it, where the tip is like a little bit more elevated. That's like kind of the look that I really like and he did give me that. But yeah, and then the bottom, she's healing good. She's looking good. I'm excited to get my cast off tomorrow. Let me give you a quick sushi haul. Crispy rice, spicy tuna, which is like, they make their tuna with watermelon and like seasoning. We have one of those and then we, oh no, we actually got two of those because I really liked those. I got them yesterday and I just was craving them again. I'm gonna have a little bit of sushi before I call because I am hungry. I'll eat the rest while I watch a movie or something. Hmm. It's literally April 5th on my computer, 5.59, like 5.55. That means change is coming girly. It's the day y'all. Today I'm going to get my cast off and my stitches out. I literally leave in like 20 minutes. Yeah, wish me luck. I'm kind of nervous to see what it looks like under there. It's a little bit of pressure. Oh, okay. <laughs> perfect. Any pressure, like, let me know what I need to find Right? Stitches are like... It tickles. It tickles. Today. And okay. then switch to the scar gel tomorrow. Okay. Okay, so we'll get you soon. 
that for you. I know you have a little bit in the kit. Yes. But we'll get you if you need a new one. So then that's all around you, wherever the incisions were. Okay, just on the outside. On the outside, okay. yes. And then the sinus rinses, I would continue twice a day if you want to for a month. Okay. If you miss it, it's not going to okay. do anything bad. Um, and then the nasal exercises. So that's the nasal exercise. So you put your thumbs under your chin and you push on the nose. Um, so you'll do this for a month. And you can do it twice a day, so I would say morning and night for 10 minutes. Do I just like go up and down? So we will push on the nose just like, oops. So under here, and then you push on the bones like this. Because we want you to get used to okay. touching your nose. Oh, okay, got it. I just so go back to like my retinol and like yes. stuff like that. Like right away. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Okay. I would avoid maybe the incision area because yeah. it would make it a little red. Okay. But everywhere else it's fine. Okay. Um, and then I'll show you how to tape. You'll do this every night for like maybe two months. Okay. It depends. You'll, you'll see um, how your skin is. Going to the long piece and then two shorter pieces. If you ever forget, you can find this on YouTube too. Okay. <laughs> but this is exactly this is how it was taped underneath the cap. Okay. I'll put it on gently so you. Know. Okay. So, At least I have it on three inches. Yeah, of course. And then I like. Sometimes you can go all the way up here. If you're finding this is still swollen, you can do a little one here. Okay. I always did two, but it's up to you. Okay. So a U pinch to a cross. Okay. okay. That's there. You can, you can like touch it. You can touch it. It's your nose. Oh my god. Sorry, you won't harm it. Feels like an out of body experience. <laughs> so you, for 23 years, I've been touching that pump on my nose. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Woo -woo. I heard the crazy story about how you like heard about that story. So like. You're just in Hawaii and you. Yeah. That's so crazy. Alright, so you want to do the front side first. They are the most annoying and. Sure. I'll tell you when I'm halfway done with the middle, okay? Oh, oh. Oh, that's right. towards me and Shen Park. It was crazy. The head didn't even hurt after. It was just so oh, amazing. Dr. Sarah has been very, very meticulous usually. So if people do have head pain, it's usually like related to like getting pottery being used, and mm -hmm. he generally doesn't use any pottery. I have a pretty high pain tolerance. So like this week wasn't even that bad for that's, me. That's pretty amazing, actually. To be honest with you. Like I didn't have any bruising except for one little dot in my inner corner, yeah, and it went away after a day. Wow, well, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, you're swelling. I mean, you know, incredible. Thank you. You have like the perfect skin type to do it too. Like you're not too thick, not too thin. Well, maybe a little on the thinner side, but yeah. you'll notice the swelling is going to go away pretty fast. Yeah, I saw the video that he posted to Instagram, and like that was getting me through this week. Yeah. Okay, it's still very, very swollen, but like, look how good it looks like right now. Can you give me a left? Straight on. <laughs> oh my god, you're doing amazing. I know, I saw the video that you posted to your Instagram and that yeah. was getting me through this week because I'm really? like, it looks yeah. so amazing. I know, you know, what I know it's swollen yeah. still, but it's going to look so, so good when it's not. That's right, this is one week out. It's yeah. like a year of all this, but you know what, your skin's thinner. Yeah. So when I say you're, some patients are a year and a half, two years, some patients are like six, yeah. nine months, yeah. you're going to look very, very good in like two months. Yep. Yeah and then exceptional in six to nine because okay. you have thinner skin. Yeah, you so. knocked it out of the park. Aww. Thank you so much. It's exactly what I wanted. I'm so, so happy with it. It looks absolutely great it's for a week. Good. This is called the nasal exercise, just kind yep. of squeezing the bones a little bit, yep. just like that. You don't do anything crazy. Okay. Just to help it to stay, it's maybe a little superstitious, mm -hmm. but just so the nasal bones stay in a good position. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Profile looks great. Your lip will start to move more normally. In another week, it feels very okay. stiff because yes. everything's base there. Mm -hmm. This part still got a lot. This is the part that's going to yeah. take that six, nine months mm -hmm. right in here. 
but as a first week. I think it looks great. I barely bruised at all. I, I literally just had one little dot and it went away overnight. I have a visitor from Chicago today and she's like, oh my God, that was the most smooth rhinoplasty I've ever seen. But most of my patients, I just told her, I'm like, it's rare that my patients are bruising at a week. And my head yeah. didn't hurt at all. Okay. Uh, during my whole recovery process, I was like, Did I made such a good decision because I'm like, I wasn't barely in any pain. It was yeah. mostly just the congestion. Yeah, that's the hardest part because um, your nose gets very stuffy from the swelling. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, when you're very careful during the surgery, yeah. you handle things. If I squeeze your arm hard, you're going to get a bruise. Yeah. And it's going to be sore tomorrow. Yeah. But if everything I touch for the three hours that it takes yep. is careful, you end up healing yeah. better and your pain's way less. You all yeah, you so for sweet. sure. Oh, thank you so, so, so sweet much. of you to travel so far. I would do it a million times over again. I would, I would do I'm it. I'm glad you had a friend in the city too. Yes, that was yeah. so, so helpful. And when are you heading home? Tomorrow morning. Beautiful. Well, enjoy. Stay in touch with me. Thank you. I definitely will. Send me your YouTube channel. I didn't even know you had one. I will. I will. Yeah. I'll tag you on Instagram when I post it. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. Beautiful. This is my nose. I know it is still so, so swollen, but check it out. I'll insert in the video of like what it's gonna look like when the swelling goes down and he's still gonna send me some pictures of like the before and the after that he took on the table and it looks so, so stellar. So I know that it's swollen right now, but I, I know I'm gonna love it in like two to six months. Like I'm gonna be so, so happy with it. Um, but truthfully, I still feel like this nose is smaller than my old nose. So even during like the swelling process, I feel normal. Like the tip is so much better. Um, I do feel like a little bump right here, but I think that's just from like the cast being on, like this is just gonna be swelling that's gonna go down. Um, so I don't think it's gonna be that wide looking, um, but oh my God, you guys, the stitches that were in my septum hurt so so badly to take out i was literally like tearing up everywhere um uh, but check it out let me give you a front like i love how it's like highlighted and defined here it's so smooth i'm gonna have to get used to this um yeah i can still tell that it's like very very swollen in here um like you can see where the cast was because th this side is like way down on swelling it's like still swelling but less Versus like right here, like there's still a lot of swelling. Um, but yeah, so here's the front. The right side, which was my bad side. My left side. And under. Hold on. How good does that look, you guys? I'm so, so happy with it because I know the swelling is gonna go down. Look at this poke bowl I just ordered. We've got the scallions, spicy cucumbers, fresh mango, white rice, some crab meat, salmon, and then some tofu. It is so, so rare that I ever eat like fish or meat or anything like that. And it's, it's literally only a couple times a year, but like I was just really craving a poke bowl. Everybody that I've sent pictures to is like obsessed with it. Which I can't blame them because so am I. Look at how gorgeous these are. I am obsessed. This one is um, tiramisu. Oop. This one's tiramisu, and then this one's the Ferrero Rocher things. Ferrero Rocher. I don't know how you say that. Mm -hmm.